G'day and welcome to yet another episode of Woolly TV. Today we're checking out JS's hi-fi construction in the Black Box 3 Swallowtail. This one's got FCS, so I'm going to be using the uh, carbon performer in a medium, in a thruster setup, so I'll give those a crack in it. This construction is going to be well suited to the Black Box 3 because it is a small wave board, it's a good grovelly board, it's made for the guys that don't always get great waves, uh, the bigger bloke, the slower bloke or the little ripper that wants to just ride it as a, as a small wave board. It comes out of the JS uh, X series, which is the monster boxes in it, and the S17X are both in there, and this is like a step down from there for, like I said, the junkier sort of surf. So I'm gonna give it a crack in a couple of conditions. We've got a little trip down the coast planned, so hopefully we can get a few waves on that one. Plus I'm gonna try and surf it around home. So we're gonna give this one a crack. It's flatter in the rocker, wider and shorter than the black box two. So the twos, it's quite a, quite a bit different. It feels to me like the rail's a little more pinched than the black box two. It feels like it's gonna be a little bit more of a performance board to the, to the old two. Just looking at it and picking it up, I actually like this a lot better under my arm than I ever did the Black Box 2. It's got a bit more of a Monster Box feel to it, Monster Box being my favourite board. I think this thing's going to be a, a great little step down, but I never really gelled with the Black Box 2, but I think this is actually looking way more like a board that I'd pick up and ride and could end up in my quiver. I'm riding it an inch shorter than my Monster Box. I'm going for a 6.0 at 33.8 litres and we've gone through the Swallowtail, same as what I ride in most of my uh, monster boxes, I really prefer the Swallow. Let's get down the coast, get a few waves on it, we'll come back and check it out, but if you want to see more board reviews, don't forget to subscribe, we've got the Seaside and Beyond coming up, Black Baron coming up, the El Tomo Fish coming up in the quad, so Stay tuned. If you want to keep up to date, make sure you subscribe and let's go surfing. Got to try out the black box, very happy with it. Did a trip down the coast, actually did two different trips down the coast. One, I got to surf a left-hand reef break, then I surfed this little wedgie sort of rip bank that was a bit more gutless and a bit more unpredictable. Found that my very first surf on the left, you'll see on the reef break, felt great. Backhand, no dramas at all. I reckon I could jump between this and the monster box all day, every day, without having any problems whatsoever. Uh, on the right, even though it was super gutless and, and f had flat sections, 
the board just wanted to keep going. It just kept projecting through. It really did feel like a step down from the monster box for me. I, if you're surfing junky waves most of the time, and you, it only, you know, if you're riding waves from waist high to shoulder high, I reckon this board would possibly be better than the monster box for you if you're a one board guy. You could definitely have a monster box and this to step down to. Monster box in shoulder to head high stuff and you could really step down to a black box. So you're getting a, a, just a slightly shorter step down performance board still in that normal outline, just a bit wider, has those pinch rails. So if you're surfing grovelly stuff, waist to chest high more often than not, then a black box three could be the board for you rather than the monster box in the JS range. So massive thumbs up for me. As I said earlier, I never really gelled with the black box two. This thing is definitely not coming back into the demo quiver. This is staying with me at home. It's gonna stay in my board cover and I'm gonna try and get a few more surfs up and really work it out on your JS for, for refining uh, another older board into an even better uh, model once again, which you guys are so good at. All right, thanks for watching another episode of uh, Wooly TV. We'll see you again soon. Three more boards coming through soon. Yoo!